Subway. Residents in our northern suburbs say they are fed up with hoons racing and doing burnouts in front of their homes. Angry locals film the reckless driving to catch the hoons in the act. 10pm on a Friday night in Girraweed. This usually quiet suburban street sounding more like a speedway. It's really scary. As an old man, we were scared. Me and my wife we was very scared. The noise so loud, Daniel McAloon says he could hear it three streets away. They're just absolute idiots and don't care about anyone else. Fed up with hooning in his neighbourhood, he rushed over to catch the antics on camera. Dangerous driving, reckless driving, they're doing um, loss of traction, burnouts, it's just all crazy behaviour. Looking on, a group hanging out on the street, drinking, unfazed by the noise or the danger. It wasn't me driving, so it wasn't my choice. But you're happy to watch on and support it? Pretty much, yeah. Neighbours say hoon driving happens every week in this street, both during the night and the day. But they say last night was the worst. Horrific noise. You could hear it was rubber on the road, you know, and skidding. And uh, it went on for ages. And it happens nearly every weekend. Statistics revealed in Parliament show hoon incidents in Girraween have been steady over recent years. But in 2014, WA police seized 1,800 vehicles under hooning laws and say each year they receive more than 4,000 complaints about reckless driving. Sarah Polanski, Nine News. From the studios of Seven Perth, Blake Johnson. Good evening. We begin with the northern suburbs families who have taken action to reclaim their streets from hoons. Kirraween residents say their suburb has become a hoon hotspot with lives now at risk. As Jordan reports, the residents are reporting the hoons and dobbing them into police. It looks like a burnout competition, but this isn't a speedway. It's Danbury Crescent in Girraween at 9.30 last night. It goes on for five minutes. The burnout's just metres away from a group of people and homes with young children. It's so intense, the tyres on the Holden Commodore eventually burst. This is what the street looks like today. The skids over 150 metres long. As an old man, we were scared. Me and my wife, we were very scared. This happened 12 hours ago, but the road is still covered in thick, burnt rubber that you can smell. The noise was so loud, residents from 500 metres away could hear it. Danbury Crescent has speed humps, but it's not enough to deter hoons. Last night's burnout isn't a one-off. It happens nearly every weekend, somewhere around here. A car went through our fence about eight weeks ago. The locals who took these videos passed them on to the police. Most were too scared to go outside. One of the residents actually was going to come out with his... Oh, he came out with his samurai sword last night. Not everyone on the street has a problem with it. These are the people seen in the video watching on. We all love skids, so we're going to watch them. So. The state government admits there's a hoon culture in WA and more needs to be done. Its hidden covert cameras aren't enough of a deterrent for this driver. The government will now look at new laws to crack down on hoons in streets like this one. Oh, you're doing probably 10 k's now, you can't lose control. But that's the fear of many living here. Jordan Cuts, 7 News. And 5. There's a push tonight for tougher licensing laws to help control hoon drivers. Opposition leader Mark McGowan issued the call after a series of videos highlighted the problem on our roads. Smoke billows from eight high-powered vehicles in a pine plantation north of Perth. The danger is so close for these two girls who stand just metres away. This is one of dozens of hooning videos posted every week on social media. These shots were taken in Girraween on Friday night. It's everywhere. It's rife. P-plate drivers are banned from driving high-powered cars in most states, but not in WA. 
Opposition leader Mark McGowan says our laws aren't tough enough. I've always thought that we should have tougher rules around uh, people originally getting their licence and the sorts of cars they can drive. WA Police seized 1,800 cars for hooning last year alone. Perth teenager Taylor Perry lost her leg just three weeks ago when she was hit by a hooning car doing a burnout in Darch. Mark McGowan says younger drivers are often the problem. Under a certain age, maybe 21, 25, uh, restricting the power of the car you can drive uh, is important towards saving those young people's lives but also protecting the community. The state government says it is working on tougher legislation to impound and confiscate hoon vehicles faster. Sarah Polanski, Nine News.